Welcome to the first and second Corinthians class here at Southeastern University. This is your instructor, Dr. Larry Asplund, coming to you once again at the at the middle of our class. Can you believe it? We're at the end of week four and the beginning of week five in this eight-week intensive. And of course, it comes and goes very quickly, as you know. So you have to really keep up with it. Uh, you know, logging on at least several times a week and, you know, chipping away at it. All of you have done so great, but I wanted to come by here at the beginning of week five and give you a sense of where we are in the rhythm of our course and what we need to do to finish well. First of all, let me say something about the midterm exam as I'm making this recording. Most of you are still in the process of taking your exam. Uh, you don't have the ability to review. I have inquired of our tech team for you. You can't go back and review your exam. I suppose the possibility would it exist to copy and paste, you know, what you're reviewing. Uh, but I can see now your, I can see your exam. I can see the questions you got right, the questions you got wrong. So I'm willing to answer questions for you. Now, I can't review every question for every student. It would take the rest of the semester to do that. But particularly if you have a question about a specific uh, you know, item on the exam or whatever it might be. I'll do everything I can to serve you in that regard. I also may be grading on a curve. That may sound odd, but for me, the way I would do it would result perhaps in some grades going up a bit. So if you see a, an initial grade and then you see it going up, don't be alarmed. That's maybe what's going on. So week five, the week five aim, number one, to relate the provision of God's comfort to suffering people, as well as how Christians are supposed to be ministers of a new covenant that introduces us to 2 Corinthians, particularly chapters 1 to 3 this week. And then number two, to relate and explain what the spiritual gifts are in 1 Corinthians 12, and that will relate to your research paper, at least one of them. Number three, to reflect on any of the readings, either the professor's lectures or assigned pages in the textbook. And number four, to complete a review of the article by Schatzman. Now, that's, it's not a graded assignment, so your review would basically mean reading it. And I think I may post a PDF copy for you just to make sure it would be handy for you this week. So the Learn 5, uh, the, the Week 5 Learn Resources, read pages 169 to 194 in Barclay this week. Then Dr. Fetke has provided us with a lecture and an accompanying presentation from 2 Corinthians 1 to 3. You also have a link to the Yale Bible study this week called Glossolalia, Spiritual Experience and Social Order. And it's also time really for you to begin working on your research paper, which I'll say more about here in a moment. So the week five assignment, graded assignment, is once again a discussion forum number four this week. As with the previous ones, you will reflect on something that stood out to you as particularly important from your readings uh, this week. And then to just kind of unpack it, comment on it. Uh, and you've done so well with the, with the three discussion forums we've had uh, so far. I've greatly enjoyed seeing, observing, and participating uh, with your your discussion post. So they'll work the same way this coming week as you are already familiar with, and I know you're going to do great. So let's talk about the research paper. It's due at the end of week seven, which means you have another three weeks to complete it. You know, week eight is primarily about the, the second Corinthians exam. The research paper is worth 50% of your final grade, so it's the biggest thing you're going to do in this class. You know, the midterm and the final exams are worth 10% each, which is significant, but there's no question that the research paper is, is big. Uh, please remember that there is a sample paper available to you in the course information section of our, our course site. So a couple of, of formatting issues. First of all, you will want to use Turabian guidelines if you're either a church ministry or a religion major, and MLA guidelines for all other majors. Uh, in terms of the font, you want to use the Times New Roman 12-point font and double space. Of course, that would be required by our Turabian and by MLA. And it will need to have a cover page and a bibliography and defined subtitles, which I will go over for you. 
The, there will be a 2,500 word minimum, not counting the title page and the bibliography. You know, the, uh, the syllabus also mentions eight pages, but sometimes, you know, having a page guideline can be, you know, a little bit difficult. It depends on how you formatted it, etc. And so it's better, in my view, to have a word count minimum. <clears throat> you, you will be required to consult the class textbook, of course, and at least three other sources. So there's a great list of resources a bit available to you in the syllabus. There'll be two alternative topics, uh, either the spiritual gifts in 1 Corinthians 12 or a study of 1 Corinthians 13. So let's look at research paper topic number one. It's going to be a study of 1 Corinthians 13. And there will be three subsections with three subtitles. I'll look for those in bold centered, you know, so I can tell where you are in your the presentation of your paper. So the first subsection will be context. And that's, you know, basically the question, why is chapter 13 found between chapters 12 and 14? And then the second subsection will be organization. And that's where you're just going to expound on 1 Corinthians 13. You're going to write your own commentary. And then the third subsection is application, and that's simply a summary definition of love and uh, suggestions for it, how it can be and maybe ought to be demonstrated in our 21st century North American culture. And of course, there is a bibliography of recommended resources in the course syllabus under topic number two, as well as a general bibliography at the end, and it includes hyperlinks to resources that you can find and instructions on accessing the Southeastern University Library if you've not already done so. Then research paper number two, research paper topic number two, to analyze one of the spiritual gifts in 1 Corinthians 12, 7 to 11. It's recommended in the syllabus that if you feel like God has is, is kind of regularly using you in one of those gifts to make that your focus. There will be four subsections with subtitles in this research paper. The first subsection is definition, and that's your, your general definition of all nine gifts in 1 Corinthians 12, and with a focus on one, the one of your choosing. And then the a second subject section will be your uh, the, the idea of your personal confirmation the need for personal confirmation, methods of personal confirmation. Subsection three will be community confirmation, how to know what your gifts are in context of community. Because, you know, the gifts of the Spirit are not given just to make us feel spiritual or significant. They're given for the building of the body of Christ. And so the use of and, and as well as confirmation of uh, spiritual gifts in community is so very, very important. And the fourth subsection is called inventory. And you are to, you've, you're given two links in the syllabus. You're to provide the results of at least one of the spiritual gifts inventory. And, you know, you quite possibly have taken one of these inventories in the past. But if so, do it again and then provide a good report of that. Once again, there's a bibliography of recommended resources in the syllabus under topic number two. So, you know, I love the fact that the spiritual gifts in 1 Corinthians 12 are called charismata, which, you know, it's related to the word charis, which is the word for grace. They're literally, uh, they're ways God's grace is, is manifested. The ways God's grace are, are bundled, if you will, packaged, so that they can work in and through your life for the benefit of the community of the body of, of Christ, of the, for the common good. And so being able to see how that works and, you know, you don't, uh, God using you with a spiritual gift is not necessarily require high degrees of holiness or education or authority or whatever. It's just God's grace working through your life. And so it's, I think it's a great opportunity for us to begin to focus in even more specifically here in the latter half of our class. So it's going to be a great week. I'm looking forward to sharing it with you. Please know that I'm here to serve you. I'm committed to you. And I'm committed to your learning and your success in this class. And never hesitate to let me know how I can serve you. I'm, you'll be in my prayers every day this week. God bless you, everybody. Just have a great week five.